Hello, this is the Bear Search Party, and today we are reviewing Minutes, Minots, horribly mispronounced either way probably, Black Star. It's the Double Hopped Golden Lager. I uh, got this from the brewery itself. The PR people there are very interested in getting this beer out to a lot of people and getting reactions. And I was the lucky recipient of uh, one of their uh, care packages, which included the can and the bottle. So, and this lovely glass that you see as well. So, that being said, we'll keep that in mind that this was a uh, freebie. I'm not gonna give them a pass if the beer's not good, but thank you very much for sending it on to me to uh, sample. Now this is, uh, Black Star is uh, part of the Great Northern Brewing line. They're from Whitefish, Montana. So let's take a look. It claims to be the double hopped golden lager. So let's take a taste of Black Star. There's a little bit of lemon, lemonness, a little lemon zestiness to it. And getting that. Uh, between that, there's a little bit of corn poppy sweetness to it. There's a good sparkle. It could use a little more, I think. Something to sort of move it along. There's a little bit there. I'd say a medium low amount. Could use just a skosh more. Hmm. Well, first off, I'm gonna have to take offense with a double hopped. I'm not getting much in the way of hop aroma. And I'm certainly not getting any in the taste. <clears throat> now this is mostly because I'm on the West Coast, so when something is promoted as double hopped on the West Coast, you need to be able to taste the double hop. And this is uh, for the month of November. I'm uh, going back around the horn to some of the uh, breweries, states, that I've already knocked off the list, but I wanted to uh, review video-wise some of the breweries that, uh, some of their other offerings. Uh, so this is Montana. I'll be uh, going back around to touching on Utah and Kansas and where else? Arizona in uh, the month of November here. But uh, Montana came up first. Now this one's not bad. I'm especially considering that uh, last month I was doing the industrial water loggers. This, in comparison to that, is just light years ahead. I mean, just completely so far ahead you wouldn't believe it. If this world was just drinking this, I would be a much happier camper, that's for sure. There is a nice balance to this. Loggers are very tough to do, and this one does it fairly well. Um, I'd have to say if you were giving it a letter grade-ish sort of thing, I would give it uh, probably a B minus. Uh, I think on rate beer, I gave it uh, 2.6, 2.7 in that uh, category. It's not, not bad, not bad at all. I haven't yet seen it in uh, the stores in my, uh, or the beer bars in my area. The literature I got with this uh, listed some of the beer bars and they seem to be on the trendier side, not so much the craft beer side. Um, I don't know if the craft beer side did not want to take it or if that's not where they're aiming for. <clears throat> but uh, this may be the same case in many other metropolitan areas where you may not see it at the higher end places, but you'll see it at uh, other places that you go to. So if you are out clubbing or out going to uh, places that your friends who aren't big into craft beer are going, this might uh, show up. And I would say of the choices around, this is probably the best one that you're going to get at some of these places. So if that's the strategy, I think that that works out for me. Like I said, this is perfectly uh, perfectly good. It is golden. It is a good lager. 
Um, if they get rid of the double hop, that would be fine. But uh, there you go. Black Star uh, double hopped golden lager. Uh, if you see it and you're in uh, in that mood for a golden one to uh, cleanse your palate after some of these fall beers that are going to be coming out, then uh, by all means give it a shot. Thanks for watching. This is Sean Inman, the Beer Search Party. Cheers. <laughs>